what's up, Solid Steppers? Miss Ward is out here on Saturday getting it consistently. Consistency is the name of the game. Took care of one of my took care of one of my favorite customers. She works with Telemundo uh, down in Doral. Great customer. Took care of three of her appliances this morning. <coughs> Took care of the drain pump on her Samsung top loader washer. You guys have done that before. Those who have been doing it for a while. That's a common issue. Took care of her ice maker in her Samsung. Excuse me. Samsung fridge door uh, refrigerator. And then I took care of her Frigidaire dishwasher. Great customer nice lady. It was a pleasure doing business with her. See, those are the customers that uh, appreciate what you do. Excuse me, guys. Give me one second. The people that appreciate you, those are the ones you want to take care of. They uh, make it easy for you to do your job, number one. Number two, not every customer is your customer. Sometimes they need to be promoted to be a customer for someone else, a competitor for someone else that's going to put up with that BS. I also want to send a shout out to my customer from last night, uh, Mr. Jerry, really nice guy. Really nice guy, taught me a lot about empathy, what's going on in other parts of the world. The man gave me like a collector's wrench set, he gave me a collector knife like an imperial knife. You know what I mean? You know, he's an older guy. They're by himself. Just trying to get stuff done. Just acting for a little respect and patience. A really nice man. Shout out to you, Jerry. So, the lesson of the day. Make sure the people around you are making you stronger at what you do. I was talking to one of my friends this morning, Lori. What's up, Lori? Um, she does a lot of trading as far as and stocks and things does really well there and you know we were just talking about cash flow and assets and investments and places to put our money so it will work while uh, we make more <clears throat> now the thing I like about Lori is she's always asking me questions about my business and in the back of her brain she's trying to figure out how she can make my business more streamlined more efficient See, them the kind of friends you need because, you know, she ain't asked me for a dime. She just asked, you know, we, we bounce business ideas off each other. And that's a wonderful thing when you have uh, those people in your life. If you don't have them, you need to get rid of the losers and get some. Because that means when you come away from the conversation, you leave thinking. We're we'll always talking about municipal bonds, urban development, how we can get in, things like that. Now, if you're not <clears throat> having those kind of conversations, then... You're not an adult in my opinion. You know, I don't understand how you don't grind. You should grind at all times because you have an opportunity to get it. You know, people cry about they can't pay a bill. Well, shut up and get to work. That's my own thing. I don't want to hear what you haven't had, what opportunities. No one came from anything any worse than I did. And I, I'm living proof that you can go get it no matter what, how many strikes against you. So that's on you. Solid step is tighten up. Like, you know, I had a chance, I spoke with uh, a couple of people, and there's some things I need to have them in. You know, me saying I don't have time is not an option. Because once things come to your attention, you got to go get it. And I'm going to just really um, talk to my solid steppers, and, you know, you don't have tomorrow. So whatever you need to do, you need to get it done today. You need to do it well. Don't half ass do it. You know? Now, I'm not telling anybody to work seven days a week because I don't advise that for anybody, including myself. You know, sometimes I will slow my days down and take jobs instead of doing five or six in a day or seven. I might split up and do three in a day. And, you know, maybe that pushes me in the weekend. Or maybe some scheduling arrangements and conflicts arise. But I never recommend anybody work seven days. 
that's ludicrous. I just find myself in those situations because I need to learn that word no when it comes to my customers. At the same time, I'm trying to grab as much knowledge and data as possible. So it's a catch-22, you know. It's a choice. It's a price you pay now so you don't have to pay that price later. So I'm really proud. So this week I learned that in a pinch, if need be, this one need to go out, need to know how to go out. I had an issue with a board, and I sent my courier to go pick up a board from a, a supply. I'm not gonna put nobody on blast. And the courier, I had the courier pick it up because I couldn't get to it, and I was out making money. So I have this particular courier I use on time delivery, and I have them pick up stuff. That way, I'm not dependent on nobody. This is, a, this, is a, a paying, this is a paying transaction, and my business gets handled the way I needed to get handled. So I had them uh, pick up a couple of parts. All the parts were good except for one. I opened a box, and it was a used control board. Now I'm sitting there in my brain like, okay, it's Saturday. I hit everybody. Ain't nobody open. So I'm thinking, okay, I could always, because I have pictures and images of the one control board I'm placing, replacing, I'm aware that I can simply take the relay off that, the one that's, uh, it still had a, one good relay on the old board. I could switch them and I could solder in, da da da, you know. But the point is, it just let me know my game ain't tight. That means I should have ex a, an assortment of relays on hand. I got my soldering kit and all that. Like